Hey there, it's John from Excel Campus, and in this video, I'm going to share some tips and shortcuts for applying filters based on the selected cell's value. So here we have some data, and we have the filters turned on. This is an Excel table, but these techniques will work if you're not using Excel tables. You'll just want to have the filters turned on. And let's say we want to apply a filter for the size large in this size column. Now, typically when you do that, you go to the filter drop-down menu, you'll uncheck select all, then you'll uh, select large here and then hit okay. If this list is really long, you might have to spend time finding that item or you can also search for it up here. But one other trick here is if you just find the cell that contains the value you want to filter for, you can right click on this cell, go to filter and then choose filter by selected cells value. I'll go ahead and click that, and that's going to apply that filter for just the large item for the size column. And it will still apply that through the filter drop-down menu. So if you click the filter drop-down menu here, you will see this filter applied for size large. And there's also a keyboard shortcut for this. So I'm going to go ahead and clear that filter, and I'll explain the keyboard shortcut. And your keyboard will have to have a menu key. If you're not sure about that, it's uh, to the right of the space bar on most uh, keyboards. And I do have an article that explains more about it and shows an image of where it's at. I'll put a link to that in the description below this video. But when you press the menu key on the keyboard, that brings up the right click menu. And you'll see that all the items on the right click menu and its sub menus have these little underlined letters. And these are the accelerator keys or the keys that you'll press in order to press these menu items. So the keyboard shortcut here is menu key and then E and then V for the selected cells value. So uh, menu key E V. So if we do that again, let's do that for small. I'll just select this cell here. I'm going to go menu key E and then V and that will apply the filter for the size small. And then there's also a shortcut there to clear the filter. Uh, and to do that, you'll do menu key E and then again E right here to clear the filter. So menu key E, E will clear the filter. And as you noticed on that sub menu there, uh, there's also options for icons as well as the cells fill color and font color. So the icon is a conditional formatting icon, icons like this that are created uh, using conditional formatting, or you can also do this for a cell's fill color. So we can just uh, choose by uh, selected cells color, and that will apply that filter for all the cells that are, have the fill color of red. And again, we can still see that here in the filter drop-down menu. So those are just some quick tips there for applying filters, just a fast and easy way to apply a filter, especially if you've scrolled way down on, on your data set and you're not using an Excel table, you won't see the filter drop-down menus up here. So you can quickly just right-click or use a keyboard shortcut to uh, filter by the selected cell's value, and that will allow you to very quickly apply those filters. So I hope that helps. Of course, if you have any additional questions or suggestions, please leave a comment right below this video. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.